All right, people, so welcome back to The Kyla Show. This week, Netflix has dropped their original movie called Triple Frontier, and I'm going to be giving you guys my thoughts and opinions on it, so let's get it. Welcome to The Kyla Show. <laughs> All right, people, so Triple Frontier is starring Charlie Hunnam, Oscar Isaac, and Ben Affleck, and is directed by J.C. Shandor. And basically the premise of this movie is we have five former special force operatives that they come together to do a heist on this huge big drug cartel in South America. And the freaking heist goes south and their morals and ethics is put to the test as they fight for survival to make it out. Now what we'll worked for the movie? The storyline for the movie was pretty um, decent, um, especially for a Netflix original movie because we all know a lot of their movies are definitely like hit or miss at a lot of times. So for this movie, it was pretty decent. It was very entertaining with the storyline. The action in the movie was also entertaining. It's not like the craziest gung-ho movie that you're used to seeing. It's more like a secretive operative heist type. So, you know, it's not going to get beat like a whole lot of crazy blowing up and, and, and shooting at the bad guys because, you know, it, it's a secretive operative mission. So they got to like be on their P's and Q's and like walk around without being noticed. And the acting. We got some really big um, A-listers in this movie. You got Ben Affleck in it. You got Oscar Isaac. You got Charlie Hunnam in it. And you even got my boy um, Gary Hedlund from, you know, Tron Legacy and Four Brothers. So everybody pretty much brought their A-game when it came to the acting with this movie. There's nothing I can really complain about with the acting. But overall, like I said, the acting decent action, and the storyline wasn't too bad, and I feel like those are the things that work for this movie. Alright, so what didn't work for the movie? Um, for Netflix original movie, it was fine for what they gave us. There's nothing really I could really nitpick. There's just like a few scenarios in the movie that it just seemed kind of stupid when you think about it in reality, but once again, this is a movie, so they gotta kind of put those scenarios, you know, those situations in the movie to prolong the story. But I don't think certain little situations that the guys were put into would have made sense in real life. Um, but other than that, like I said, for a Netflix original movie, what they gave us, um, I can't really nitpick too much on this movie. Because it was a pretty decent movie. It wasn't the greatest, but it was a pretty decent movie. And I felt like there's not really to be said much more than that on what didn't work for the movie. All right, people. So overall, um, for a Netflix original movie, on a kind of scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to give this movie a solid 7.5. It's very entertaining. I do think you could sit down and watch this movie again. Not multiple times, but, you know, a couple of times in the future, I could see myself probably sitting down and um, checking this movie out again. Um, so I don't know if it's going to be coming out on Blu-ray um, anytime soon, but you could probably check it out when it comes out on Blu-ray. Right now it's streaming on Netflix. But like I said, if it comes out in the future on Blu-ray, it might be worth the buy. So if you like what you see and you want to see more, please hit the subscribe button. After hitting the subscribe button, hit the bell button so you get notified every time I upload a video. And please hit the like button and leave a comment at the bottom.